Seven points that the married should know to keep the attraction out just viewed from where they are, where they stopped. Number one, establish routines. Marriage, we live in a very distracted world. Establish routine. You will get tired of who you marry if you don't establish routine. Routine is the secret of champions. Any champion you know is used to routine. Let me tell you, the reason some people's mouth smell is that they are tired of brushing, but you must brush. The reason some people go to bed and uh, it is not, all is not well is that they come back home and they don't bath. It's not everything that we know is right that we do. As I speak to you, there are people married here five years, ten years. Okay, let me use the five years example. Five years is 12 months times five. Who is good in maths? 60. 60 months. If in 60 months you have not, have, you have not had at least 60 date nights, six date nights, six. Six of 60 is what? 10%. You know you are struggling with tight. You are also struggling with routine. 60 months, not six date nights. Not six. As I'm talking, some people in five years marriage, you can't even count two. Two. Yeah, I know we are not Europeans. We cook at home. Your wife is tired because the only thing you have achieved in life is to eat her cooked food. Mr. Budget and National Planning. In 12 months, you have not been able to... Ma See, let me say this to you. Marriage is done in flesh, not in spirit. And flesh is where the senses reside. <laughs> you cannot sustain attraction. You see all this thing he's saying? He started with potential, but he has to continue with delivery. A promise can weaken the heart. Because when will this promise be fulfilled? So to my brothers particularly, put men only. We are, we are, our next getaway is in August. Put the, the, I'm not preaching that, but put it. So that this I want to register. It's not free. All our programs are free, but we can't ask you for three days, feed you for three days, have sessions, but it's, it's money. Gather it. In fact, some men have not planned. You have been interested in men only for two years that we have been doing it. You have not achieved one. But when I put your recharge card that you have used in those two years together, it would have afforded one. So why do you come into routine? A friend once challenged me. He and his wife agreed for 12 dates a year. One a month. And the rule was to keep the phones in the car. What happens between I do and I don't? Somebody's action failed. So to maintain the attraction, they are talking about a marriage. Because they are sister single people more. That's why I decided to come back. Maybe because of the time they gave themselves. I say married people. Some of you, thank God some of you came to your wife. Your wife is tired tired. The women are healing me in their heart now. I'm coming to you. Don't worry. Because some of you, the way you talk to your husband, you are the only person disrespecting them like that on earth. It's only you that can no longer see the good in that man. A man is incapable of staying attracted to a woman whose only contribution to him is criticism. He's incapable. An average man is already dealing with enough problem of failure. No matter how good you think a man is, there's another man making him feel uncomfortable. Either by what he drives, what he wears, what he has achieved. I turned a few days ago, we were working with some colleagues, I, and I jokingly told them, I said, I'm having some concern with what I have done with my life or not. One turned at me like, what did you just say? She couldn't understand, she couldn't believe that it came out of my mouth. So I said, let me assist you. I mentioned some people professionally who are younger in age, and what they have attained. I say, welcome to the emotion of a man. Constantly under a pressure. Until he goes to God and depressurize. Men only people. Depressurize. We depressurize. So this man is already trying to depressurize. The Bible says it is better to live in the corner of a roof. Than to live with a nagging woman. You can't speak life. Speak life. Let me say this to you. There are things that will happen in your marriage only when you speak it. It will not just be delivered on your time. Let me now go back to routine. So marriage is here I need to establish routine. Some of you have heard me say this again and again. That's why there's Sunday outing in my house. That's been for two, two years now. 
We don't cook on Sundays. If we cook, it's exceptional. From church, we are going somewhere. We have come this town, going everywhere there is to eat food. I will keep this call. It's a right demandable by those three Nigerians. So as we are leaving church, they are asking, where are we going today? There are places we take them to. We say, we are taking you here so that the day you are taken to a certain places, you know, embarrass us. I know our financial level may not be at those levels, but take them, let their eye tear. The reason some girls married against their conscience is because the level of poverty they suffer in their father's house when there's no money. <laughs> Routine! You know, we always preach that you love girl child so that men will not confuse her. I preach to men, love your wife in a way that a man's attention does not shift her balance. Don't starve your wife to the point that just high you look good and she's wondering because she has not heard it in three years. Do you get what I mean? So, I said number one, establish routines. Establish it as a family. Some of you are in serious relationship, you better start establishing routine. For instance, one of the routines I have, whether I'm in the country or outside of the country, this woman, I boastfully say, the spectral net at home, you don't know how it gets refilled. If I leave it in your hand and it finishes, one of the routines here is that things she, can, she should not think about in life. Data, do you know one time I, I traveled out alone? I couldn't reach my wife. I knew. I checked the data back in Nigeria. Me, I was using wife abroad. I refused the data. When I now called, I said, baby, I don't know. I was offline. I said, you data finish. I have done it. It's my routine. It's my own. How should be attracted? Do you get what I mean? So establish routine. As I'm even mentioning date nights, some people are just wondering food don't finish for house. It's not about food at home. There's no woman that doesn't want to feel like a baby girl. No woman. If fact, some of you Christian brothers, tongues you have, but sense you don't have. Sense. So you approach her, she's excited. After two weeks, her excitement is going. Her excitement is going because you are not fueling it. You fuel it. Routine fuels it. I'm touching the single small small, but it's married people I came for. So number one, I say establish what? Routine. The touch one, the next is study into their area of interest. Nobody can stay attracted to you when you are not getting attracted to their own. I'm not talking your own, their area. Study into their area. There's something that gets their attention. No, uh, even my husband likes to do herself. I don't understand. Quarela, well done. Stay there. Remain there. Be criticizing him. Join. As far as that thing is not a sin, join it. No matter how small, join it. How many of you have been blessed by my wife's writing? Let me tell you the truth. She's on ultimatum right now. I call seven times a day sometimes. Can I have the article for the day? There's something in you that I'm interested in. Then she started punishing me. She will send both the article, send 50 pictures. Which one should I use? But not to kill what I was en encouraging, I got interested. I saw your comments. People are already used to me writing. So you actually feel I'm no longer anointed. Where she write? My God, where has she been? She has been in my house. But I need to get I, I got interested in that area. There's something she should be doing that I needed to pay attention to. So it's, see, there's no way she will not. Do you get what I mean? So it's so important. Number three, play. Life will make you uptight. Abuja rent can crush your spirit. Play! A lot of couples are too hard. Let me tell you one of the reasons I love my brother. Let me be honest. I have a problem with this man. Sometimes when my wife sees his call, she just do like this. Hi. Me and this man can talk three hours. I'm not kidding. And it's not ministry talk. <laughs> it's I'm a boy. <laughs> I'm a boy. There's no way our relationship will not grow. You cannot crack jokes with the person you are not playing with. If I, after last year's anger, my wife came to me 
Are you sure they did not feel embarrassed? You were calling him son on the poop. This delicate woman. Are you sure? I'm confessing in public. The, the way you, hey, are you sure? Because maybe me, I don't like that kind of thing. You're saying, well, this is my son. I brought him to Abuja. Remember, I say, leave me and his. Well, in public, we're just pretending for him. Who is reach out to me? Say, you're not missing me again. This man. <laughs> Our salvation is that we are not gay. <laughs> That's our salvation. If that demon came on these people, play. I mean, replay. If me and this man, they talk. Let me confess to you. One day, I used to hide when I'm speaking to him from people who respect me. So somebody overheard us. You people talk like this. Say, yes. <laughs> Play! Why do you think I carry my wife at every opportunity I get? You don't know if you big rich this one, you know carry. Did I not lift you in Ghana? I will still lift you in UK. But you won't see it coming. Uptight, uptight. Are you the only one with problem? <laughs> Are you the only one with problem? Learn to play, play, play. Let me be honest. Eh? When people see us, they feel... Um, I'll be more adventurous. Lie. After marriage, I just entered marriage. Somebody pitied us, paid for Obudu, for honeymoon. This girl took me to Kebuka. I almost died. <laughs> My wife is that. You know that we do all it. Funny enough, across the world, all manner of uh, all these amusement things have been getting stuck. One in Canada, uh, is it US, three hours. And the thing was high before they got people down. So those are the ones me I used to show her. She used to show me what to buy. I have a promise for us to jump out of plane in Dubai. The promise I have not been able. She wants it. But you see some of the, you know the plane, uh, the, what they used to call that, the skydiving. I have agreed. And I'm going with tongues. I'm not going with hats. Rabalabalaba! 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 We must play now. We must play. We must play. So if you see any travel and we put anything that is fun, it's her. I'm not kidding. Last year, this 2023, January that I did South Africa alone, I was South Africa 10 days. Hotel room. Me. Freedom. Sleep. Wake up. Answer counseling questions. Do my job. Sleep. Took a walk to the mall. Came back. That's travel alone. But travel with this guy. My God. See, Jesus played with his disciples. Somebody just asked me, in what scripture? <laughs> this guy just blasphemed. You that are still trying to fetch portions of anointing, you cannot play. The Bible says it was anointed without measure. A man will not rebuke you if you can't play with him. If you are not playing with him. Peter rebuked Jesus. Stop that nonsense you are talking about. Die where? You know what we left to follow you? You that will be king. Go and read your Bible. Peter rebuked him. Peter was correcting him. That's why he could say, I no longer call you servants but friends. That's why Judas needed to kiss him to distinguish him. Not this one that the moment the person you call man of God walks in, all of us know the difference. The church should take note. The church should take note. Hello? Hey, team members and volunteers, the day you cannot call me like you call me, and we cannot talk like we talk. Get out of RM. Do we get busy? Absolutely. But can we relate? Oh, yeah. Let me share a story because I know there are a lot of anointed people here and you are going far. So that when you are going far, you have sense. A man died and they called for testimony. 50 people showed up. Great man of God. 49 came and spoke about him greatly. The 50th one was his son. And he said, Wow, listening to all these great things about my dad is amazing. Now I know where he was when he was absent with us. That's his own testimony. He was busy with 49 of you and the rest who didn't come out. That's why he was not with us. We must play here. I've been working late lately. But this is why we go to bed at 2 a.m. Because there's gossip to be gossiped. There's play to be played. So you, 
you start coming home like I've been doing lately because of some jobs at 11 and you want to sleep. Something is wrong with you. You will lose connection. This is like when Nepa cut your light. You will not go get light. You need to keep the connection by play. Anytime you see your marriage getting uptight, you are losing something. Just discussing serious matters. Mm, you are losing something. Alright? So play very often. Celebrate each other's differences. You cannot stay attracted to a person whose difference you don't celebrate. One of the frustrations in marriage is that you think that your partner must be like what you want before you are happy. If I married my child, this marriage would be boring. No adventure. What, what they call that round, round thing inside Wonderland? They went and made me... No. Water splash. They made me enter. Jesus Christ. I died seven times when I came down. People can't believe this. This one, this Grigri one, you see this woman, you, put, you are the one seeing ice water. I know what I'm suffering at home. But celebrate each other's differences. We have been to places where her and the children did things I couldn't do. Peking were born. I pay. They do. I wait. I snap. Do you realize most time when I send out my family picture, now let me know this. Now me they snap. Continue. I celebrate our differences. So I won't shut down a thing because I don't want to participate. Once I'm convinced it's okay, do it. Celebrate differences. You want your partner to talk like you. If they talk like you, nobody will hear each other. They are quieter because you can speak. So God gave them a big ear and gave you a big mouth. So celebrate your differences. Why? Until you see that difference is an advantage, you lose attraction. So I must see your difference. I must see why your, dif why, why your being different is beautiful. I must see what you bring. For instance, do you know there's a ministry decision that has been on pause for four years? The day I called Julia that I wanted to take that decision, I was done and ready to take it. She, she didn't command me to stop. She only suggested, don't you think we should pray about it? We are still praying. I'm, I'm not kidding. I was to act on the decision. And I have seen signs now why I would have been wrong acting then. Extremely spontaneous once I'm concluded. Auntie, <laughs> layers of verification. Prayer. Lava, lava. I've been enjoying that one. You wake up sometimes in the night. I'm not saying you're going to get praying wife and be lazy. But my God, have you heard prayers coming out of the sitting room? Then you change gear of sleep. My God, my baby, fire on. <laughs> From praying mothers to praying wives. <laughs> but celebrate your differences. Because the areas where you are strong differently. For instance, let me see. One of the things I don't like telling people easily is I'm praying for you. No, I make declaration right there. I will not lie to you. In this ministry, if there are chances that somebody is interceding, praying, praying, praying for you, see her. Somebody is teaching you, see him. Do you understand what I mean? Do I pray? Yes. Do I pray generally? Yes. Do I cover meetings? Yes. Do I talk to God? Yes. I counsel more. She prays more for you specifically with name. There's one book my wife has. If your name enters, you are made. Apply for that book. Oh, he's was selling something for 10,000. That book is 2 million dollars. Now, Joko. Do you get what I mean? I do like Paul. I make mention of you in my prayers. Lord, remember how he's malaga, laga, laga. But Julius, when he's, this marriage will not go down. Rabatu Kopaya, the hand of the Lord. Rabadabaga. Difference. Do we all pray? Yes. Are we all going to do the same thing? Do I spend more time speaking to people? Yes. Does she spend more time doing the intercession? Yes. Does she pray for me more than I pray for me? I'm telling you, I believe 100%. I've heard it too many times. You just wake up. I keep talking this wake up till you think it's a joke because no matter when this woman goes to bed, 4 to 4.30 a.m. Standard. The big Bible is open in the sitting room, lying down on the chair, and bagalaba, ibada, pata, para. By that time, changing game because I went to bed 1 a.m. I used to use sleepy eye to give the blessing when they are going to school. Basha, basha. Except I have caught. That's my realm of better sleep at that hour. But different. Once it's crossing a certain hour, she wants to sleep. Whereas it is late. I came back tired. I don't want to touch sleep. So celebrate each other's different. That's number four, right? 
work together on projects the reason why partners find it easy to be attracted to people and not be attracted to their spouse especially at work is that there's an attraction that somebody who brainstorms has but the only thing you are doing with your own spouse is have sex with them quarrel with them keep malice with them how would you be attracted to them then you go to office there's a difficult question and this colleague happens to be of the opposite sex you are brainstorming they are just saying see woman that one in my house what is she doing see man see man see man see man why negative emotion has a way of being amplified you had a misunderstanding that you have with this same person if you had married them but because that one is at home the negative emotion is blown out of proportion then you are seeing this person with whom you only solve difficult tasks so what do you do learn to come into each other's projects learn to don't exclude them make them external from you come into their projects try to be interested what are the difficult things you are dealing with what are the hard things you are dealing with how can you go an entire year and you have not made a point that your spouse feels makes sense one year you didn't make any sense in anything they are trying to deal with oh come on come on so get involved do projects together do something tasking together is that number five learn to fight fair number six you will lose attraction if you fight dirty you will lose at fight you shall fight i confirm to you fight you shall fight the difference between a good marriage and a bad marriage is how they fight misunderstandings you shall have the difference between a good marriage and a bad marriage is how they handle misunderstanding Reverend Matthias Onoja of Blessed Memory defines misunderstanding as two correct understanding missing themselves. Finish. Then you look for how they meet. Misunderstanding is two correct understanding missing themselves. It may just be an issue of context. It may be an issue of misinterpretation. It may just be an issue of not getting it yet. Learn to fight fair. What does it mean to fight fair? Fighting fair is attacking the issues, not the person. Attack the issue. We have an issue to solve. That's how we came by the principle of silent contemplation as opposed to silent treatment. What is silent contemplation? We suspend the conversation on the issue but retain the relationship. You bring food, I will eat it with my frowny face. It's under silent contemplation a man was approaching his wife in the night and said, I thought we were quarreling. He said, they are not quarreling. They are not quarreling. It's you and I that are quarreling. Silent contemplation. Am I saying that too that if you're abusing somebody that you're whipping up their emotion all the time? No. I'm saying, see, I'm, I'm being honest with you. And how do you practice silent contemplation? Can we talk about this tomorrow morning? In essence, the issue is adjourned to a definite time. Can we talk about this later tonight? Can we talk about this next tomorrow? So we know that there's an issue suspended, but the relationship is not. If you don't learn to fight for your attraction, we disappear fast very fast right so learn to fight fair one more go and build communication skills a lot of times the issue with attraction is communication you cannot sustain attraction without communication how many of you have ever befriended a person not necessarily a romantic relationship whom you didn't like until you heard or interacted with something changed when you began to listen something changed when you began to regard how they speak how they behave how they act in essence communication happened and that's why you cannot build any strong relationship without effective communication three things about communication take, take note three things about communication number one timing a lot of people get it wrong because they don't get timing right because communication itself is not the information is the information received number one timing you must get timing right there are things that are burning in your heart that should not be said at certain times for instance one of the reasons why i was going to shoot my wife from following me you know i'm willing to write notes for her husband about english <laughs> of course if you have followed us you know that me i can be very direct and my wife can be very courteous but when we leave a meeting right in the car allow me to reach home first there's nobody that doesn't want a type of validation 
I can't finish in. It's not like I just finished this video and stepping out. I say, but man of God, actually the place was hot. We know. We know. It's just that he didn't give us money to buy AC. It's not even our venue. Towards it, okay, let me let me just use that. It's not like I've been looking for how to give you an excuse, but here's the deal. We've been meeting here since January. So when we came to that point and we pay quite a sum every month. So when we came to that point, I'm like, do I pay more months and retain same place a lot of people who attend monthly know? Or go and pay big money that would have paid more months for us so that I can create we have always having a hangout in places with ambience. So we decided, you know what? Let's do a few more things to change the feel, especially for production. It's never been that clear in any of the six meetings. You get what I mean? So after all of that label, I'm going out. We're in the car. And I say, actually, baby, I think that place was too hot. Too. Next year, we need to do something about it. What? After everything I've done with my life, this is the time you are choosing. If you condemn a person you have not commended repeatedly, you are a wicked person. The foundation for condemnation, if ever, or rather suggestion, opinion, is that you are first commended repeatedly. The heart is too frail. Though. <laughs> so communication, number one. Timing, number two. Tone, 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 tone. You can say the same things, but the feeling will be different. Ladies, let me tell you the truth. The reason some husbands are already tired is that you are not lying, but your tone is bad. The default global love language of a man is honor. If you feel dishonor in your tone, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Your attraction with this, your, your figure, your everything will just become potter, potter. Just like tone for a woman. A woman wants to feel a sense of care. She wants to feel a sense of thoughtfulness. That's why some of the worst husbands around are those who equate provision with caring. I provided for this family. I paid the rent. I bought you a car. Mr. Man, you are totally absent. You are just a sponsor, not a husband. And anybody can sponsor. Ask the Abuja girls that are not paying their rent by themselves. Anybody can sponsor. Some people are even doing contributory sponsorship. Seven people are contributing it. You do not lie, you do not fail. What is hard for you to turn? Turn. So for the male to the female, if you don't communicate care, they don't care. That's why we talk about the other the negative side. That's why a lot of ladies are single. They are seeing men with money, but they cannot see the care for the future. So they run for their life. And for a lady, if you cannot communicate or not, <laughs> so watch your tone. Number three, in communication, I say timing, I say tone. It's the quality of the information in the communication. And what are the things that destroy the quality of the information? Emotion. Emotion destroys the quality. Let me say this to you. You may appear more articulate when angry but you are actually less intelligent in what is coming out. So you are speaking verbose, you are speaking more words than you are passing information. So the third thing about communication to be effective is the quality of what you are saying. Because you may make three sentences and you have passed the message or nag for two hours and you have said nothing. So you check what's the quality of the information I am passing. Do you get what I mean? So it's so important um, to take those for the married people, seven points I just made um, to just contribute to my father in the Lord um, and mother in the Lord. Mommy, I really appreciate you. It's just that you're always looking like you're just a young girl but they don't know that you're my mommy. So, please take note of these things. Um, like I said, at some point today we, we took out the questions. Um, it's been a long ride, beautiful long ride. 